Alcohol inks that do not fade in sunlight. Learn right now with Clara Lawrence why this epoxy technique is taking over the internet. All right, everybody, I teach this guy how to make alcohol ink. It and I'll give you a epic. hint. It looks pretty good. <laughs> howdy, howdy, this is Clara Lawrence and Mikey. Hello. All right, so we're doing something a little bit different today. We're prepping up a board to take down to Rondo's because this board has a purpose. And I am going to be showing Mitch from Stone Coat how to do alcohol inks. So the best way to work with alcohol inks is on top of a nice slick surface. But I thought we'd change it up a little bit. And we're going to, going to do Rhonda's melted marble kind of technique. Basically, we're going to be putting a bunch of different colors over it, doing some slight blends. But we're going to use our hands for the blending. And today, Mikey is going to be wielding the resin. Yes. Yes? Mm-hmm. So what are you mixing up right now? Well, the resin. <laughs> <laughs> well, what Stone resin are you using? Epoxy. There you go. And we're using Art Code today, and we want to keep the colors white tones. Um, so tone on tone, basically, we're going to have a slight undertone to it with uh, a little bit of blue. So these are the colors we're using today. We've got Color Passion, white we're gonna have a little bit of diamond dust a little bit of this blue which i'm not sure if i've actually used yet title blue so we're gonna do a very light one of this we're gonna do a little bit of blue interference which will be pretty and so we're going back and forth between whether or not we're going to use this one or this one i don't know but we're also going to do a transparent version of this too to add some depth to it and then this is going to be mostly clear with a little bit of diamond dust. So it'll be fun. All right, we're working on our colors now. We put a tiny bit of the blue in there and some drops of Illumilite dye to lighten it up. What do you think? You like that color? You want a little lighter? Let's go a little lighter. Okay. You want this to be very white. So. Illumilite dye is pretty concentrated, so you got to go careful. Okay, let's work on a tiny bit of diamond dust. Actually, let's hold that off last. Let's do interference then. Okay, keep in mind, whenever you dip into powder or paste, you can't use that same stick to go back in it. So you'll have to use a fresh stick. Because that, um, especially with paste and stuff like that, I don't wanna mess up the paste real fast. You like it? I do. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, let's do some white next. Pick up your stick with a little bit of white on it and dunk it directly into that. And mix that up. Okay, put that stick back in the white, uh, this one. I, I'm like using the phone for directions. This is not good. <laughs> Can he, I, I think he actually needs a finger. <laughs> Because it's easy to get too opaque real fast. I think it's perfect. You think it's perfect? Mm hmm All right. So the last one is, you already got the interference, so the last one's Diamond Dust. Guys, so Clara we'll Lawrence has an ebook. Check it out in the link in the description below. It has tons of alcohol ink recipes that will not fade in the sunlight, and you know how to mimic and replicate each one of those special little alcohol ink drops. Check it out in the link in the description below. Do you want a lot of sparkle? Or I'm just going to keep sparkle? scooping. You're just going to keep scooping? I'm just going to hold it to it then. We're going to just... Yeah, that's a lot of sparkle. Like... Yeah. Okay, mix her up. <laughs> We're having fun. Mm -hmm. We went ahead and taped this off with a couple of rows of blue painter's tape. And just to recap, we've got the blue with a little bit of white dye in there. Uh, this looks like the interference blue. You can see that little bit of blue shimmer when it's changed out. Diamond dust, white from Color Passion, and a very diluted white. All right, time to start off with a white opaque one. Yeah, and this is Color Passion. And we get all of our colors through Erica, but also Rhonda 
And RK3 is also carrying a lot of colors now. Oh, and if you use code, uh, uh, code HOWDY on Erica's site, ours till death, you'll get a little extra off. All right. And you got the, the light blue. The light blue next. All right, I'm gonna talk to you through this technique. I love this technique for using a bunch of different colors and creating some softness with it. What we're doing either, you can do this to a dry board or one that just barely has resin on it, but we're just trying to lay down the colors, not have them overlap too much, and then we'll go in and gently just try to move the colors enough to fill up uh, some resin on every part of the board. But if you notice here, we, we start with one color, laid out all the one color, went on to the second color, the third color, and then usually leave some kind of pockets. If you do have any kind of glitter or bling, those are great areas to use for those little last little bits of pockets. It gives you that little bit of a chunk of like vibrancy. And then you see how we're filled it in quickly with our fingers and then skimmed it over the top with our hands just to give a little bit of movement to it. Simple, simple technique, but glorious result. <laughs> we are back indeed. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna run some clear lines to kind of break this up a little bit. And because why not? Subscribe right now to Clara Lawrence. She creates amazing epoxy art and teaches you how to do it step by step. The link in the description below. I'm gonna always run off the table because it makes it a little easier. to do this written? I would like to. You would? Okay. Right. Always test out your sprayers before you use them. You never know if they get clogged up, if they're not spraying well, uh, or if there's any kind of mishap, just to make sure that they're doing what you want them to do. And even checking out the, the size of the dots that they're spraying. Alcohol and mica powders in the bottle. And we use about half a bottle of 91% alcohol, and we've got the larger bottles. Um, you name those little guys right there. And then a half a package of mica powders, and we're using white metallic, right? Yes, white okay. metallic. And you're going to spritz in your hand and drop, or are you going to spritz in the air? I can do both. Well, what would you like to do? Uh-oh, is he doing the Italian drip? Erica, look, no face. Gonna do the Erica face. I don't know the Erica face. <laughs> I'll do the monkey face instead. Okay, that's the monkey face. So it's gonna deposit little bits of micas wherever it drips. Alright. What do you think? I can concentrate in there. Yeah? That would be pretty. Let's see. Focus. All right. I think. You think we're good? I think we're good. Okay. Right, we waited about an hour. I think it was like maybe an hour and a half, and then pulled tapes, moved up the edges, and got it ready to go for Mitch. Now, Rondette asked us to do a demo of Alcohol Links at the end of one of her pro classes. Mitch wanted to play. Okay, your bottle. And I mean, I can get a big old bag for like hardly anything. Mm -hmm. Kind of deal. Um, I'll fill up the bottle mostly full with alcohol, <laughs> and then like no more than four drops of the aluminum light dye, and just go, you know, small little drops. And that's all you can need. Can you put too much? Yes, you can. I I tried to mess around with the dyes like I was doing with the paintings, just mm -hmm. trying to see how they behave. I put it in the palette, you know, a couple drops yeah. in there. A year later, it's still wet. So, oh, yeah. too much of that dye will just stay wet forever. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think it, it two ounce, These little guys? These yeah. guys will last you forever. Yeah, it's probably an ounce, though. Here. I bet it's a one it ounce. It is one ounce. So, it's yeah. one ounce. So, four drops per ounce of alcohol. Mm -hmm. No more than. I would say that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> four drops. Yeah. Um, now, the colors. resin art colors. I don't have a resin art color. Yes, I do. 
Resin Art is another color that it's like a pre-mixed, uh, pre-dissolved paste. That can also be done. It could be made into a dye like this. Yes, because they're highly pigmented. But micas can't. Micas will have a tendency to float a lot more. Right. But these have, because of the pigment, they work really well. Um, now they look like. They kind of glisten. Like yeah. coffee grinds. They're, they're wetted down almost. The wetted down powder was with a. That's color resin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, resin art. Resin, resin art. art. Resin, resin art. art. Yeah. Yeah. And are those, would those fade in light too? No, or these are, are these are meant to go good. into resin, so they work really, really well. And you can also add them to alcohol and use them as a spray too. But a lot of color. Wow. Now that I will put in, okay, so my trick for that one is um, I'll get my bottle almost all the way full of alcohol, put into a paper cup, and then put a couple of healthy scoops with a popsicle stick. It's not rocket science on the resin art stuff. It's like adding mica powders to your alcohol. You can add a lot more or a lot less. Mix it up real good, pinch it. This is the part where the paper cup comes in so you can pour it back in here. But if you notice, it settles really fast. So just like the alcohol bottles, you give it a quickie shake. You put a little before. ball in there, ball bearing. <laughs> little BBs, stainless steel BBs. That's my I stick them in there. slingshot ammo right there. <laughs> just in case you want any payback. <laughs> so the only alcohol ink that I will use, um, and I do not have it out. I thought I had so something. There it is. The BBs just, help sh shake it up. Oh, yeah, okay, just okay. to kind of help agitate it and stuff, just when like spray paint and stuff like that. So the one alcohol ink that I will do if I know if it's going to go in the sun is the brass or the silver because it's just floating um, metallics in Those there. Those won't fade out. Yeah, they won't fade out at all, and it looks gorgeous. Now, this stuff here, what I, I will also do is dilute it a bit. Like put like a whole bunch of, like 50 drops into a little bottle here already done with the alcohol. And that way it doesn't over overtake the piece. Cool. Because you can do that. Yep. Okay. Pump the brakes, question of the day. Let me know in the comments below what alcohol ink colors do you want to see me create on my very first project. So because these little needle applicator holes are so small, I don't even worry about keeping them covered mm -hmm. up while I'm working because yeah. I want to work fast. This is stuff dries. There's the holes. I knew I had some. So you see how the metallics just sink really well? So. There's no ball. Oh, there was. It was. It's in there. Just got to coax it to come out. Be friendly. Okay. So I'm going to do a little area over here, and then you're going to do a big old area over okay. here. Okay. Okay? So. You don't need to sand the surface or anything? No, that's icing. No, that because oh, yeah, it that's will. Clear. That's just alcohol. Yeah. If you sand the surface before you do the alcohol ink, because it it's flow. such a, a fluid, it'll find the cracks and you'll, you'll have little blue lines in all oh, your you'll cracks. See the okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to throw a bunch of alcohol in there just to keep my colors moving. So that's just a, a piece that you've already put. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a piece I've got resin on it. I just did and some kind of. Did you make color. this base to pull, apply alcohol on? Is the goal or is this just an old mm -hmm. piece? Okay. Mm -hmm. I took one of uh, Erica's cradle boards. Yeah, and we just threw some light colors on there for the the plane. See, you can see I'm being real precise with this stuff, right? That's awesome. So the cool thing about the blue moon and the blue moon is you'll see a nice shimmer on it. I'll add a little gold in there. I'll tell you I'm gonna splash them. That's what, I that's what I don't get to hear when you guys watch the video. I love that. I'm losing eyes. And alcohol ink reactivates. If like you didn't like this area, you can add a little bit of alcohol. When you dry it, you can get her wet again mm -hmm. and bam. Now the dyes, like that. sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they stick to the board. So, like that, what you just talking about. Should. Yeah, a little bit. So a lot of times I like to get the alcohol on there, get the colors in there, and just start moving it around. So you don't have that blob, blob, blob look. It'll start floating around, and that way it attaches to the board in different areas. I see how that... That gold that sticking sticking fight, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that moving now. Oh, how pretty. That was That's probably because it's a heavier... Yeah. 
and it sunk on you. Oh, look at that. so pretty. And it's one of those things that you can build up on. You can get it super faint. You can also build up your colors and get it really bold. Okay, I don't know where that came from, but there's... Magenta dot. <laughs> and you can probably use expensive tools, travel dryer. Did you steal that from the hotel? No. Doesn't it? Stole it from Walmart. <laughs> and I'm just trying, it evaporates pretty fast. I'm just moving it around. I kind of describe it as like, this is like sheep, and you're the sheep dog, and you push pressure on it. It makes the inks and the colors yes. move to the other side. Have you ever seen a drone then, shot of that? Yeah, that's so cool. cool. A drone shot of a sheep dog moving all the sheep. Yeah, that's amazing. The right guys on the hill just whistling yeah. are doing this full of calls. And you'll, you'll see the dog just moving back and forth, moving the whole herd. Guys out and where they have colored dots well, on I played the, college on the football, sheet. the coach had a herd dog, and that dog would nip at you if you were slow. Was oh like, my <laughs> gosh. I was never last because that dog was That's just like, terrible. Fight, man. That herd dog would bite you on the ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I could go in and build up some colors in here if I wanted. It's like, it's too light. I want a little bit more fun over here. What about some of that bling? Ah. Ooh, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever tried to dissipate oh God, the alcohol by lighting it up? Oh, oh that's pretty. Does it really? Yeah. Are you talking about like when you've already fire. got it? Oh, that. No, I haven't done that on um, I've ceramic. Got, I've done that with resin, and you get some kind of cool effects in mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Erica loves doing that stuff. I've done it like <laughs> a right, quick, big stream. Yeah. Of course it. Add some stuff. Yeah, it's cool. You can only like a stain yeah. look too. Yeah, it kind of looks like, like a stain, stain, so you can have really nice, pretty blends in here. If you want it, like, I don't like this little line over here. Add a little bit of alcohol to this edge. What you can do is you push it over and you reactivate those colors, and then you can push it right back out and fade it back to where you want it. So I can, like, I'll push this over, reactivate that color, and kind of get a little bit lighter blend on that edge if I'm not happy with it. And if I wanted to add more gold in here, like a specific line, I'll put a line in there. Dyes, and there is some alcohol ink. This is a uh, resin art colors in there, too. So does the so, resin art color, does that contain epoxy, or is it? No, it's just meant to go in epoxy. Yeah, it's okay. meant to color mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, But it's unique, yeah, there's, exactly. some, there's something in the resin art, and you add it to it, which is going to act. I love this right here, yeah. Yeah. that little crack looking. Oh. So you see the gold, yes. the bra it well, it's space. actually brass, but it kind of stays on the surface. It's right, and right well, kind of like, kind of like copper so with that. Oh, yeah. 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 Cool. So much. I love that bling it gold. <clears throat> that. Is that an interference color? Mm -hmm. oh. Sure is. Interference blue. Or interference hole. Uh, oh. You can just keep on blending it or building on it as long as you want to. It's up to you. So you can make this as, like I said, as soft as you want or as bold as you want. Right. Yeah. Can you reach one of those? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> down. <laughs> you got this, dude. Not to use your phrase, but. Yet, I ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> when you're done with your alcoholing project, I would highly recommend doing a couple light coats, especially. Not very. I it depends on how thick it is. Right. I mean, alcohol evaporates pretty quickly, so it, it does. doesn't take that long. If there's a a lot of buildup, it can take a couple hours. Um, otherwise, oh, it, it can like take, you know, just a few moments. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, you go low? Mm -hmm. You say that was loud. <laughs> remember, you're, you're the sheep dog, so you want to hurt from the side. You just tell where you want it to go. You're the boss. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. 
And you can take a paper towel with a little bit of alcohol and maybe touch up some areas you're not happy with. You can even use it to pounce and create a different texture too. Love that. Oh my gosh. I like how the gold is actually yes. outward here, like a frame. Uh, it, it reminds me of uh, watercolors. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, how they just run together and make yeah. colors and design. Is it that, that <laughs> blonde one, the one that has the shimmery look to mm -hmm. it, or something else? Almost like a pearly kind of look yes. to it. Yeah, that's the interference. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> it's on, it's on, you also got a finger that you can, if you need to. Look at that. You've done this before. You're wild. What is that brown? Is that, what color was that? Brown is one drop of brown and one drop of ocean. Or, yeah, that's the other one. Oh, it's this gray, I bet. Brown oh, okay. black. What's this one? Just clear. Uh -huh. Just clear. <laughs> yeah, I use the, um, some of the little bit larger size filled up with alcohol, and that way I can put it exactly where I want it. I'm like, there we go. That's my color. <laughs> that's the blue moon. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's stunning. I love that color. Where's that gold at? Right there. Give it a shaky. Yeah, oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm like, yes. This is the combination I love, right? Look how you do all this. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh. I'm not liking my brown over here, though. Yeah. Maybe I could ask. We're not looking for that part. We're looking for it. Maybe. And you don't have to worry about If you don't like a certain area, you can literally dip and remove it with a paper towel. If if it's still wet, if it's not, then just add alcohol to the paper towel. Yeah, it's drying it now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I thought it creates those borders. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Give me some color in the middle, too. Color? Yeah, this is kind of... Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I'm like, that's the one. <laughs> hey, yeah, the one. <laughs> Could we cut off? Yeah. They have alcohol ink papers are really inexpensive to get used to moving the like material and stuff. Yeah. But before you do a countertop for a client, right. I recommend that you practice on the board with resin on it. Right. But it likes a slick surface. Okay. To go on yeah. to. That makes sense. Uh, but some of these colors, like the resin art colors, can shift and change and actually stain your board. Uh, we've had a couple like that, like a, one of the aqua, kind of like an aqua marine color. Uh -huh. Like put a bright lime color on the board and stain it. It's like, okay, that's not what we wanted. <laughs> So you can just basically put uh, the ultimate top coat over your yeah. hair? And, mm. I, I would recommend a full coat of resin on top of this. Resin. Yeah. And then whatever spray you use. I'm sorry? 
the foot coat, then sand, and then open the foot coat. Yeah, whatever spray you use, and that helps. Um, the resin has loose particles on it, and the gold is loose particles. So the archival spray will kind of help lock that to the board until you can do your resin coat. So Claire, can you do something like off of a picture? Mm -hmm. I mean, or when you create your, your your art, like if you're a horse and you're you know, the resin goes in, uh -huh. is that just something you created? I mean, I, it was a picture that was taken of her daughter in the field, and I just thought I liked the moment of right. it, so I snagged it. And <laughs> I mean, she didn't even know I was doing it. It's kind of more. Northern light style of something. I'm just wondering what we It's cool. Images. I mean, do you do pieces on commission like this? Uh, I could be persuaded. That's cool. yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Damn. How long does it take to dry before you would? Yeah, now when can I put resin on it? couple hours? <clears throat> Probably in a couple hours. Yeah, but we want to do some light coats of archival spray first. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Putting all the colors and then just kind of feathering it around. Mm -hmm. You fun. can get super, super light wispies in there and create a white piece that has just like light grays or even a light, so, like a hint of blue in there. Did you get regular alcohol and put right there to kind of blend that in? You could or here. So where did you say you can get these? What? These? Uh, yeah. Well, these I mixed on my own, but I got the dyes from Rhonda. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. it's just the same dyes you would be using already to color with. Mm -hmm. And uh, these here, if uh, Rhonda doesn't have them, um, Erica does with Artisan Dyes. I have Dad. a ton of what colors are you looking for? Just any of the resin. Oh, the resin arts? Yeah. yeah. I have quite a few that yeah. are in stock. Uh -huh. And we don't have pay shipping since we're here, huh? That's right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. I'm going to go shopping. Score. <laughs> You happy? <clears throat> I like it. Yeah, I think it looks awesome. I've been really cool. around with this for a while, though. This I is cool. That. That's fine. I liked uh, when we had it all wet and I was able to kind of just blend this. This is sweet. Yeah, that is Here, apple mm. juice. Practice and try to make this soft. This so, line? Yeah, so what you do is you push it gently into here to reactivate it and then bring it out <clears throat> to get a little whiskey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see how those soften it out a little bit? The, I'm going to the kind of, just so it doesn't stop there. Basically, that, that, I have the video, I have that exact piece in the room. Yeah, I see what you did there. That's cool. That's kind of how you, you paint it on that dragon a little bit. This, mm -hmm. doing this. But uh, I do, I do. I love mixing different things. mediums together mm -hmm. and putting them with resin and seeing how far you I'm can take it. I'm liking the lines it's creating. It's, 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 it's kind of cool. It's like it softened it yet made it a different sharp detail. It looks three dimensional. It's really pretty. Just like that aqua color. I don't love the color. Yeah, you'll fan that out. Don't put too much of a line about that. Oh, you started so awesome. Look at you. That blue moon is something that we have. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Right. Maybe hit that. Rhonda, look what I missed it. Miss it. That's cool, girl. Crack it. That was fun. That's neat. Isn't it fun? I love the watercolor. Effects. I, yeah. I love it. It's so I can't get this with a pop yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <clears throat> How sweet does that marble countertop look? Guys, go subscribe to Clara Lawrence on YouTube. Help her channel grow. How about this wrap up music? Man, it is fire. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe to Stone Coat as well. We're dropping some crazy cool content coming your way. All the products are available at StoneCoatCountertops.com. I hope you gained a little bit of confidence to head down the road to make some of this beautiful Clara Marble epoxy countertop art. And we'll see you on the next video. You got this.